clip that. Welcome to the No Jumper Podcast. Devastating skill set you got right there, my friend. Oh, should I be wearing these? I mean, it helps. It helps you sort of get into that that insular vibe of like, I'm here. I'm on the podcast. I'm not fucking around. I'm I'm here with Adam Twenty Two. By the way, this is No Jumper, the coolest podcast in the world, and we're here, we're here with Roy Purdy. What's good? What are the yeah? I like the headphones. When, when people come up to you on the street, what do they say? Is it you're that? dude who does the dance or is it you're the dude with the sunglasses like what what do you get these days oh definitely uh, i definitely get a lot of people asking me to dance that's like the go-to oh so they actually demand that you dance uh people they people always like want me to dance for their snapchat stories oh that must be so annoying it gets annoying after a while <laughs> sometimes i'm like i'll just take a selfie yeah like, selfie, i'm not trying to dance you know but there's a usually huge I'll, scale usually i'm a good sport there's a huge scale there's like Taking a picture is like doesn't take that much time. Sometimes they want like autograph. That's like a little bit more of a pain in the ass. I don't even know how to write my own name anymore. But right. then there's like dancing. People always try to tell me to do a kendama trick for their Snapchat. It's like I, I'm not yeah. gonna pull anything first try. So no. No, you got a first try. I, I could do a couple of things first try. Yeah. All right. So but yeah, a lot of people ask me to dance and shit. Right. Yeah. But. Fuck them. Um. So where are you from? Let's start there. Yeah. Uh. Born and raised Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, and then I went to Colorado Boulder for a year and moved out here. Really? So yeah, like a year ago. What was your upbringing in uh, Wisconsin like? Uh, it was cool. It was like super, like super chill. Lived in like a suburban city, not super big, uh, not a lot going on, but there was a skate park. So I just skate all the time after high school. That was primarily where you're into? Yeah. Just skating like every day for like. Up until, like, late high school, I, I wanted to be a pro skater. Like, I was just skating all the time. Um, you have a pretty solid skill set, though. Like, do you... Hey, thanks. Yeah, I mean, I don't take it, <clears throat> I don't take it like, serious anymore. But, like, I'm not trying to be pro but or anything. But I skate all the time. It's still fun. When did you... Okay, so that was your primary uh, hobby coming up? Or was there anything else that, that was sort of uh, taking up your time or that might have, like, hinted yeah. at what you ended up doing? Main influences probably growing up were the fact that I was in a band for like six years, so that was kind of influenced me with music and then skating, uh, like my style, and then that even got me into videos. Like that's how I started filming. Well, and let's stuff. hear about this band. Yeah, bro. Not a lot of people know this. I don't even know if you know this. I didn't know that. I was in an '80s rock cover band. Holy shit! For like six, seven years. What? Yeah. How did you Sorry, end up in that? Throat. And what did you do? <clears throat> Um, I played piano and sang and like, I did a little harmonica for some songs. And so did you form the band or was the band already an existing thing that you then became a part of? It was like just me and my friends started it. And then I think we, we ended up doing like eighties rock cause that's what like our dads told us to play. And we were like, (laughs) sure, let's do it. You were like, so how how young were you when it started? And I was still, I was still rapping at the same time. So eventually I... Ended up dropping the band and just recording my own music. Oh, you were rapping at the time as well. Yeah, I was. I like uh, rapped in front of my whole school at my eighth grade graduation. Really? Yeah. So it's like been a thing. I like would rap at like talent shows and stuff. Wow, that's crazy. I thought yeah. that the you rapping was because everybody always wants to say like, oh, people get popping on Instagram or whatever, and then they try to start rapping. I could even I can send you a clip of me rapping at my middle school graduation for you to like put in right here if Who? you want. <laughs> What rappers were you listening to when you were like that age? When you were in like yeah. seventh, eighth, ninth grade, whatever? Um, R.I.P. Mac Miller. Wow. Uh, okay. I think Donald Trump by him is right. what made me say like, oh, I want to be a rapper. <laughs> I just realized you still have the shades on. That's what made you want to awesome. vote for Donald Trump, also. Shit, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just loop you in there real quick. Yeah, no, I didn't didn't vote for Trump. No, that's good. You're vote probably politics. you probably weren't even legal to vote when that happened. Are you no. 19 right now? Yeah. So you're probably like 17 when he when the election happened anyway. Yeah, about. I didn't vote for Trump, but I will admit that today I saw that he called a woman that he had sex with horse face. Oh, I saw on that Twitter. trending. I saw horse face trending on Twitter. I didn't know what that was about, but. I mean, like, for a president, I think that's pretty out of line. But just as a guy, like, as a really famous rich guy, I think it's pretty unbelievable and kind of cool that he's, like, willing to just call this woman. Like, that's even on, like, where I'm at in life, if, like, some woman, like, was talking bad about me, 
I probably wouldn't want to call her a horse face. That seems like yeah, such a terrible that's pretty low <laughs> shit. Yeah, fuck politics. Yeah, that's like a fifth grader insult. I don't know. But uh But yes, I was, so I was in that band for a while and then like skating. Um I feel like those are the two skating like, kinda got from, you. From like off growing up that inspired me today. Right. And then I don't really know the bright clothes. I'm trying to think. That's another thing. Well, I don't, know okay, where, I don't know where that came from. How'd now. you start making videos? Were you on Vine or was it, did you start oh, on yeah. Instagram? Yeah, so I can get into that. I started making videos from skating. Like in middle school, I just post skate videos. And then after a while, I was like, I, I noticed like, so I, I was just making videos for fun for like years. And then I was like, man, I see like all these artists and stuff blowing up off viral videos. And I was like, oh, I need to, like, I need to try and do that. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to like, do the dance trends and whatever, um, and then, like, and just for fun, too, because I like making videos, mm-hmm. and then the Running Man one just popped off, and I kind of just went from there, but I was also, man, it's such a, like, long story, I'm, like, skipping so many things. As I was uh, making the skate videos, I was also dropping, like, music videos. Mm. Like, there's so many old music videos on my page that are from, like, 2015 and stuff. Of you rapping or Yeah, you I mean, like, like, full music videos that I would have my little brother film and I would just edit, record it with a USB mic, like, super DIY. So I was doing that um, in high school. And they were getting, like, no views and whatever. So that's why, so stepping back, that's why I decided, like, oh, I want to try and, like, see what these dance challenges and stuff are about. So when you started doing the dance thing, though, did you have your character, like, fully formed with the glasses and the whole, the clothes and the sort of editing style? Yeah, um, I mean, it's really not, like, a character. Like, that was just, like, what, you know, that was just me expressing myself. And then, not, but to answer the question, no, I didn't have the glasses. The glasses came a little later. Did you just see him? Like, were you just, you saw him and you are like, that's a good I actually, hook. I, like, went out looking for my signature thing. Really? Yeah, and I was just, like, found him at a costume shop. And I was like, this is, this is it. Was there anything else that was in, like, the category, in the running, like, there was like a, you know, a black corset that you were thinking of wearing instead or like, you know, a tube no, top. It or... actually, it happened really natural. It was just like, I had already, like I was wearing Hawaiian shirts a lot. Just, I wore windbreakers a lot, but I was just like, I need a signature, like a staple piece that I'm always wearing. Right. Um, and then, yeah, I literally just went out looking for one and found it like that hour. It's definitely like, it's like your uh, your like Superman cape in the sense that you can kind of walk around without it and people don't trip out on you that much, right? But then as soon as you put them on, it's oh, like, yeah. oh, that dude, yeah. No, one hundred percent. If I go out without the glasses versus with them, it's like totally different as far as like how much I'll get recognized. Do you feel like you get powers when you put them on? Shit, the dance moves get a little better for sure. Really? Yeah. No, I, I notice that too. When I'm doing an interview and I have sunglasses on, it makes me feel more com- comfortable because I feel less connected. Yeah, when I you're feel, looking I feel someone that. in the eyes, you feel their pain. Okay, yeah, true. When you have sunglasses on and they can't see, your, like me and you, we can't see each other's eyes. So it's like it would be easier. I'm not going to, but it would be easier for me to say something mean or to say something provocative or like fucked up because I can't see your eyes. I think that's an actual like thing in I humans. Mean, yeah, I never thought about that. But I'm not going to abuse that power, but that's true. sometimes like if I'm doing like a troll interview, basically like on stream, sometimes we'll like there'll just be some random chick and I'll just have her come on. And throw just... the shades on. Yeah, because it helps me to troll her better. Okay. She can't see my real emotions. She can't tell that I'm just fucking with her. I don't know. Um, so yeah, did you just make one dance video and it just took off, or did it take like? Uh... Nah. So I was, I was making sk- the skate videos and the music videos, and I was doing that, and then I had like the idea. I was like, oh, I'm gonna see if I can like. Do something viral because there's I saw so many like dumb videos just popping off and I was like I can do that. Um, I probably tried going viral like 15, 20 times before. And then it worked. The first one like popped off on Facebook or whatever. Yeah. That's amazing. It's so easy these days. Well, not so easy, but it's like if you have that mentality of just wanting to make something cool, that it's like you can. You yeah, can sort of make I think it that's the thing. Like, um, I didn't just make one video and was like, oh, it didn't blow up. I'm just, you know, I'm right. over it. You know, I just like kept making it. And that was just what I did for fun, too. Right. All right, guys. So today's podcast is brought to you by MNML. Uh, You've probably seen MNML's uh, zipper, denim, track pants, and other streetwear essentials all over your Instagram because they have been blowing up lately. MNML is an online-only apparel brand that is changing the way that you look at streetwear by offering high-quality 
yet affordable essentials. Uh, if you've been shopping at traditional retail stores, you're typically pay- paying uh, between like five to eight times uh, markup. Uh, MNML, they cut out the retailers and they sell the same quality directly to you. MNML just launched a new collection for fall and No Jumper listeners can get 10% off their first order plus free shipping. Just go to mnml.la slash no jumper and use the code no jumper. They offer easy returns, free exchanges on all orders, so there's nothing to lose. And uh, yeah, visit mnl, mnml.la slash no jumper and use the code no jumper for 10% off. Links in the description. Get it. And so is that like, I don't know, what is the mentality? Like when you when you go out, and you want to make a video like I've seen you do it. It's pretty funny. Like a lot of times it feels like you'll just be messing around, but then there'll be like a couple of dances that you'll film too. It's like, it seems like it's kind of complicated. Yeah. Most of the videos are just honestly spontaneous. Like I'll just be hanging out and I'll be like, let's like film me doing this. Like I'll just grab a friend to film me on my iPhone. Uh Uh-huh. And yeah. So when the video, I kind of just film it as the idea comes. When the videos first started popping off though, did your, Instagram followers and all this shit start to go crazy because right now you have like three and a half million, which I I I barely I remember yeah, you hitting it's million pretty crazy. a while back, but did it just feel like it just started to get out of control on Instagram as the shit cranked uh, up? Nah, I don't, I don't I wouldn't say it was like definitely like when I had a video go viral, my stats would go crazy, but then you know a week later it goes back down to normal, so it like definitely fluctuated a lot. Right. Um. But I wouldn't say it was like crazy or nothing. It was like slowly like a bunch of videos. You know, it wasn't like I blew up overnight or anything. When I think about what you do, am I wrong that I think it's like kind of similar to that, the backpack kid? Oh, fuck no. No? No. Why? You don't fuck with him? Oh, no. I mean, he's a great guy. Uh, I met him in New York when I did that Millie Rock video. But that's just not like... I don't consider myself like an Instagram dancer. You oh, know? okay. It's just like something I do for fun. So he's more specifically in that category. Yeah, but that's the weird yeah. thing about you. You're not really trying to be a dancer. You're trying to just, you're just a dude, right? Yeah, I mean, I just, I like consider myself like an artist. Um, I just do a bunch of stuff like the skating, the dancing. Um, you call me like an influencer if you want. Shit, I don't really like that title either, though. I feel like influencer is just There's something so much that like, if you yeah. do something else, then you could. If like, you do anything that you're popular for, then you could be an influencer. It's such a strange way to describe something. It's like you yeah. only fall back on it's influencer. It's like just because you post stuff on YouTube, are you like a YouTuber? You know, right. Like, oh, right, like I'm a YouTuber. I'm more comfortable being Like I have subscribers on YouTube, but I never post. So I don't consider myself a YouTuber, you know, but know, some people fucked up. totally do. You have what, like one and a half million or something? It's like two, two and a half now. And I like don't post. I need to post more. I don't understand That's something I that. want to do. Most YouTubers have to post all the time to get subscribers, and your shit just goes crazy, and you post like once a month. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't, I don't even know. You've tried doing vlogs and stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah, the last video, like my most recent video right now is a vlog. Oh, okay. And I want to start doing, not like a selfie vlog, though, like a vlog, like my friends just filming me throughout my day, like day in the lifestyle. Right. Uh, and I want to do more of those. Like every, every Friday is the goal to start posting. I like it. That's and then, dope. like, music videos in between those, probably, like, every two weeks. That'd be, that'd be like, the grind that I'm trying to get on. You never get videos deleted because of the music, huh? The uh, no, if shit. it's, like, a dance video to someone's song, they might claim it, but I haven't gotten it taken down. Damn, you're lucky as fuck. That's a big problem these days on YouTube. Yeah. Well, I hear. Also, I hear that about Instagram, too, but I guess you have any problems with that? No. Nah. Yeah, I don't- so when you make the decision to move to LA, like were you actually oh, yeah. making money already at that point, or were you just like, I'm gonna figure this out? It kind of like I started making money like as I was moving to LA. I want to say, but I had made the decision before I was even like really making any money. Um, I was like, I was, I would have been totally satisfied with like moving to LA and working at Starbucks and like grinding. But thankfully, it just like worked out, and I didn't have to do that. That's a Starbucks. <laughs> hey, not hey. actually. This is from Blue. Bottleofcoffee.com. Oh, bro. I got the shit. What? I got a blue bottle pin. Oh, so that was my first <laughs> time like, going. Yeah, I've only been once, and I just, they had pins, and I just put one on my hat. That's such a white person thing to just put a bird on everything. A bird? Wait, is yours a bird? Uh, it's a, like, I don't know what it is, honestly. Yeah. That's like from, you ever see the show Portlandia? No. Oh, that's like. I don't really watch TV, to be honest. You bastard. You don't check your DMs yeah. either. Do I not? I don't know. You were telling me you don't even look through the message. No, requests. I thought you were saying I like, like hadn't responded to you or something. No, no, you responded. Uh, 
No, not really. Yeah. I don't you really get check their requests that much. Um, I like check the comments more. I like responding to comments. See, I used to like, not look at the requests, but then I realized that there's people swimming in there. Like, Yeah, I'd be forgetting that. Like, if you don't follow them, it doesn't yeah. go to your, like, main thing. The worst part is just that you... Shit. I should you, probably check my requests more. I have no idea who's following me. Like, if I could have got followed by fucking Jay-Z yesterday, I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Because how I'm the hell really are you going to know? Check that stuff. How are you going to know? You can't look through that fucking notification tab. They should have like a oh, special. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't check that either, that notification no. tab. But they, the notification tab, once you have like a million followers or whatever, it should somehow just only show you really, really important stuff. Yeah, I'd, that'd be lit. Or you could like, you, you should be able to like customize it. Yeah. Damn. Instagram, if you're watching this, it's just terrible. Take notes. It's totally fucking Shit. useless once you got some clout, which unfortunately we've both been cursed with. Fuck. No, yeah. I had to work my ass up for it. You, you got it like fucking that. Like, I met you. And you, it wasn't going that crazy, and then boom! It's I like, mean, it, it definitely happened like really naturally, like smooth. Um, shout out to all my fans, everybody watching the videos. You know, I um, just like the concept. But it was definitely a grind for sure. It's, still is a grind. You know, I'm working on uh, everything, taking everything to the next level. But your videos can have dancing, skateboarding, kendama, just regular funny stuff. Somebody yeah, falling whatever. down. It's like, it reminds me of skate edits where like, you know, a skate that's, video. That's the inspiration behind all my editing is like skate edit style. Really? Like, really quick, you know, like, like when I edit my skate videos, I like to make it, it's like right when you pop the trick, right when you land, it'll like cut to the next clip. So it's like super quick. Yeah. And that kind of like brought that into dance. Exactly. Videos. I think that's so it's yeah, like that might be that might be why the, the videos popped off. I don't know. Yeah, because it, it appeals to the attention span of kids where they want to see like a lot of cool shit all happening at once. Oh bro, my attention span is so short. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> what kind of so you don't watch TV, you don't watch movies? They take too long? Yeah, that's probably why. I feel that way a lot of times too, yeah. <laughs> I I watch like YouTube. Yeah. And shit. For me, watching a full T V show is like reading a book. It's I've done very that hard. though, but yeah. Like Stranger Things, I watch that. Crazy see, that. Try to watch Stranger Things. I like get like halfway into an episode. I'm like, really? I can't pay attention, man. I got no fucking attention span. Uh, once you get through the first few episodes of something, I feel like it hooks you in. But yeah, I can never get through like the first few. It's all about what you want to be into too, because it's like I I can watch Joe Rogan for three hours and like stay pretty into it. Yeah, but, I can watch No Jumper for three hours and just for real. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you watch the interviews like with any kind of regularity? If you don't, I, it's totally I, I, okay. No, I've watched the interviews. Yes. I don't say I watch them on regularity, but they're always like popping in my recommended. You know Sky Jackson? I know, like of her. Yeah, she's like she, a Nickelodeon yeah. actor or something. Dude, she's like my biggest supporter. She shouted me really? out the other day on Twitter. She's she said all I do on on YouTube is watch No Jumper. I'm like, what the that's fuck? Like, You're like 14. There's a lot of stuff on that's, here that's not appropriate for her, but I still appreciate kids it. Kids are watching YouTube. Yeah. I met her at a Lil Pump thing. She's a huge Lil Pump fan. That's the stuff. She's with the culture. Exactly. That's what's so cool about it. Um, all right. So what is the life of Roy Purdy like outside of just yeah, making these crazy videos and stuff? Like, what, what else are you into? You got a girlfriend? I don't. No. Hashtag single. Um, lots of skating. Lots of just hanging out with my friends. Uh, been making music more. Um, not dropping anything. Like, or haven't been dropping anything recently, but just... Like working on a lot of stuff, um, you know. Like I said, trying to gonna try and like film more for YouTube. Um, let's see, what do I do on a daily basis, man? Do you just like what you're doing now, or do you have goals? Do you want to like be in movies oh, or mean, TV or anything like that? Are you? Open? I love what I'm doing now, but definitely like we're just getting started. Um, we've been doing a bunch of stuff with uh, the merch recently, mm. and just building Purdy Gang as a brand. Uh, we just got done doing a pop-up shop with Young and Reckless. Seen that? Shout out drama. Yeah, that was super fun. How'd that come together? Did I connect you guys? Yeah, that was yeah. Right? That's I, crazy. Yeah. Wait, I totally forgot that. Um, I think I passed him your uh, your phone number or something. Yeah, and then we linked up and started talking about collabing, and eventually just you know kept talking. It happened, and uh, the line actually dropped yesterday online. Really? Yeah. So. And then we did the pop up shop this weekend, and it was it was awesome. How was the pop up shop? A lot of people come through. Yeah, it was cool. Um, and they like set it up super nice. Like Drama's whole team snapped. So, dude, yeah. his his operation is so professional. Yeah, he goes over there. Yeah, he's got, got like a good team of people. Sixty people working there, and they're all just like doing something. It's like holy shit, dude! You really have like a real business over here. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. It's crazy it's been for killing me. It. I'm just barely starting to get to that point where the other day I was looking around. I'm like, holy fuck, I got 10 employees in this room right now. 
Like I big, actually have big to, boss things. I have to actually pay all these people, and you can't like. Then you start thinking about holy fuck, that's a lot of money right there. I mean, yeah, shit. all combined together. But I'm um, <laughs> also working on like Zoomies stuff. I uh, got the merch in, in Zoomies right now. The really? pretty gang merch. Yeah, we're in Zoomies too. Low key, we never tell anybody. I saw that. I think they posted something, and it was like my merch, and then I saw like no jumper merch. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. Well, so Adam's with it, too. I seen you in the fucking Jeffree Star video. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> they had uh, a box of Roy's clothes because, like, his company we, prints we your stuff. We use, like, the same. Not, it's not his company. He, like, invests in the company or something. Or is it? Is it his company? I think he co-owns it. Co-owns yeah, he's, okay, he's yeah. one of the dudes. But, yeah, they do my merch. Yeah. And they're super fire, so. That's crazy. You ever hung out with Jeffree Star? No. We got to hang out with him. Yeah. I don't Bro, know. I'm down. Did you watch that Shane Dawson <laughs> thing about him? Uh, Yeah. I thought it was fucking amazing. He seems pretty or cool. I watched, or no, I didn't watch the whole thing. I like, yeah. saw like an episode. Or something. Actually, there's a new Jake Paul uh, episode out today that I haven't seen yet. Oh yeah, I haven't. I haven't been. Do watching you want me keeping those. up on that? No. Ooh, it's Bro, gonna... attention span. Those are. I saw they're like 50 yeah. minute videos or something. Definitely. Shit. <laughs> but dude, it's um, juicy shit. Yeah. Real juicy. Know. Lot, lot, lot of, lot of gossip. Lot, of, lot of drama. I'm into that. I need to know what's going on with these I'm fucking not, kids. You're not? Uh, no, I don't fuck with drama. I Shut up. Less. You're not Shit. clicking on like the 6 9 and Trippy Red videos and stuff? Nah, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like beef and like all that shit. Like, really? Yeah, no, I like, I follow like skate pages and shit. That's like, fair. You want to see like good art? Yeah. I remember I mean, when my life was like that. That's just funny though sometimes. Like, yeah. Keeping up with people's beefs. Like, sometimes that should be funny. My girlfriend can't even watch somebody get punched in the face. The UFC clips and stuff, it pisses her off. She can't, she can't look at it. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm probably there with her. You're squeamish. You ever been in a fight? Ah, uh, no. 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 I don't like. I don't beef with people. I don't like. I don't That's know. good, dude. If I saw somebody punch you, I'd be so upset. I don't know what I would do to make someone mad enough to like punch me. I, I bet you could like, think of something. I keep it pretty chill. Hmm. You say you could think of something? I bet you could just. <laughs> nah, you're pretty chill, yeah. <laughs> But I don't know. It gets scary. Like, as you get more and more famous, it becomes more and more like, yeah. damn, is somebody going to try to do something just because you're famous? No, bro. So when uh, at the pop-up, like, uh, I told him, like, to type in their artist name or whatever because they want me to check out their music. And he goes to, he opens SoundCloud, goes to his SoundCloud and, like, reposts his songs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. Shit. That is so grimy, but I'm so not surprised. It's the hustle, though. I respect the hustle. Because I've I've seen <laughs> random songs reposted on the No Jumper SoundCloud, and I'm pretty sure that, like, somebody comes in the store and will just do it on the, like, because Hakeem will, like, let them play it, and I'm pretty sure that they just tap uh, that button as well. People will be finessing. Man. But, yeah, so. Clout first. Forget what was the recent question, like, what I've been doing and stuff. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. We keep going on, like, these these tangents. I'll be forgetting it's the question. good, man. We love the tangents. Facts. Just want to um, like ask about something. Yeah, that's where that, the that's where the funny combos come from. Just ask about but, things that have nothing to do with you, and just try to like just catch you up in something that you had no idea that you were going to be talking about. Yeah. Okay. That's what it's all about. Trying to just catch you. You know. Okay. Can I can I tell you something weird that I experienced today? Let's hear it. All right. There's this guy I know. All right. All of a sudden, Instagram I, I, like it just starts getting sent around in the DM or in the group chat. Like, look at this dude died. And we're all like, what the fuck? That dude died. Because we know him and stuff. And then figured out that like it was a misunderstanding. He's not actually dead. Okay. But then I'm like, what the fuck? Because now I'm just going to go back to not talking to this dude, not really caring that he's alive. But all of a sudden when he was dead, I was like really, really concerned. Shit, yeah, it'd be like that. Yeah. It's weird. Like you've, you find out somebody's dead and all of a sudden you feel like you are supposed to care so much. But then I found out he wasn't dead and I'm like, oh. Like, was that fake? Because, you know, it's like, I didn't really feel like, I don't know. It was a weird roller coaster of emotions to be on. call it fake. You were in shock. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if somebody dies and they're like tw- in their 20s, it's like, fuck, that's super yeah. sad. But if somebody's alive in their 20s, that's like everybody is alive in their 20s. Yeah, man. <laughs> shit. Too many people dying young for you sure. You haven't even made it to your 20s yet. No, I'm 20. Oh, you I did? Turned, I, I turned 21 in February. Oh, shit. All right. I thought you were yeah. still at 19. Nope. Um... What are your What are your parents up to? Like, do you, what do your parents yeah. think about what you've got going on? Do they understand? I assume that your dad like, okay. works in like a coal, a, a coal mill or something. No. Is there a coal <laughs> mill? Is that a real thing? I don't know if they have coal mills in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, my dad does like real estate and owns a few businesses. Um, yeah, he's not on social media at all, but he keeps up, tries to keep up with the stuff. Right. Um, I don't know if he knows the difference between like Facebook and Instagram, like type thing, but he. 
He like has he like has an account that he doesn't post just to like check my videos. Really? My mom, on the other hand, is all about fo- uh, social media, Finsta. social media, and she she's always rocking the merch, always like commenting on the videos. Like she's definitely my biggest fan. Wow, yeah. that's tight. She'll be out here and like you've met her like when we yeah, yeah. walk past the shop. She's nice. Did she? Uh, do you think that she's gonna start like her own Instagram and start dancing like you and everything? I don't know about that. No. She's got she's got some clout. She's got like 10k on the gram. Cause I've seen Jake Paul's mom makes vlogs like just like his. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be crazy to have your mom just like take over your hobby and just start um, doing the same shit as you. Mom vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna tell her you said that. I, mean, I she bet she be does. Bad. I know that's the weirdest thing be like, about that's it. That's a great idea. His mom just <laughs> hopped on it. Like my mom would not even know where to begin making a vlog. Yeah, exactly. I don't think my mom would know how to edit a video. Yeah, Save your life, but we but. need to encourage that. We need to encourage more like older women to get into vlogging. You think so? <laughs> yeah, because it's not fair for Jake Paul <laughs> well, to get all the views. I did wake up today and I was like, there needs to be more older women on the vlogging scene. Really, we got to diversify <laughs> <No>. things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it'd be good. Um, so, but yeah, there. Uh, and my mom does like real estate stuff. So, yeah, nothing to do with like music or the stuff I do. Right. Um, but they're super supportive. Did I introduce yeah. you and Block Boy as well? Was, um, was that when you guys met when you were in here doing that little running? The no, little that video? was right after we had done the dance video. Right. I forget. I think I just like DM'd him. Oh, yeah. You guys did a video together that one day. Yeah. That was fucking sick. You were walking That was around. so random. Yeah. Yeah, we were just causing ruckus all over. We went to Hollywood Boulevard. And, and we like, he was with like his squad and we just like pulled the car over and we didn't have a speaker so they just like blasted the music from the car and then we got out dance to it that was funny yeah like in the middle of like hollywood boulevard when that block i feel like that block boy dance was like the dance of the year yeah probably was honestly. i mean everybody started doing it that spread so crazy no i think that was probably the woe was oh, coming up the woe was now yeah we were just talking about that the block boy dance was like earlier in the year yeah and then Drake did it a little bit too. That, that Once helped. Drake gets the dance, it's like bah, bah, yeah. bah. It's um, the whoa though. I just realized you're wearing, <laughs> you're wearing these glasses this whole interview. That's funny. I know. I'm hoping that they don't start hurting, so I don't have to take them off. Also, shout out to Usher for the shirt. I just want to say that too. Hey. Oh yeah. So you did that. Usher just oh, Usher gave me this fucking shirt that he said he said Virgil designed it. Oh shit. So shit. I mean, it does. It definitely looks like it was designed by him. It doesn't say anything about off white, but it's that font that was using shit. Which is, I think, oh, is yeah, the bottom of Helvetica. Um, I know a lot about fonts. Upgrade the drip real quick. Throw the jacket on. Oh, yeah. You're big on the windbreaker look, huh? Big on the windbreakers. I feel like, uh, yeah. no. We should all be, we should be wearing all off-white right now. Think so? Yeah, I might help with the drip factor on this podcast. Okay. We also have a completely different mic angle going on I'm, right here. I'm you notice about, this? I'm more about the, the thrift shop vibes. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't hit up the Gucci store? Nah, I have that one song where I say all that uh, Louis Gucci Fendi Prada I don't wear. So I kind of like put myself in that position to not wear those brands. I think that's a good idea. But it kind of works out. I have to get more creative with my flexing. I it's a waste to, of I can't just go to Gucci, drop a, drop some racks, and I'm, you know. Yeah, it's boring. I have to like, I have to like think about it. Like, I'm flexing. Like this is from Top Shop. We got like this is probably like three bucks at a thrift shop. Yeah. You kind of have like a six nine thing going with like all the old rainbow navy stuff. skinny jeans that I ripped. Oh, and we got who some. made the 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 slip ons? Ah. Is this a collab? Oh, with Stray, you did the, something with Stray. I didn't realize that. This is just like a sample, but whoa, that's yeah. tight. I have some uh oh, oh, oh very nice. socks. That's crazy drip. I have some Strays too. That got there's like a zero collab that they did. Oh yeah, I have those. Those are hard. Yeah, people come up to me all the time like, can you kick flip? I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> No, I absolutely can't. You ever done a rail? What? On a skateboard? Yes. Like a big one? Uh, oh uh, yeah. No, I don't do them often, but I'm just trying. I mean, I've, I've done them in my days. Curious how extreme your skateboarding career got. I low key went went harder like with skating when I was in high school. Mm. Like I would, I had like like a street part out. Like I was like actually on that skate shit. Really? Like sending it to companies and shit. Like, uh. But now I kind of just do. Now I just kind of do the funny stuff. Yeah. Or like, you know, I won't go too hard, but it depends. If I if I'm in the right mood, I'll like send some shit for sure. Like skate a stair set or a big rail. It's weird how in skateboarding, like 
just doing okay. chill swaggy shit has kind of become the thing because it's like yeah. it was so focused on everybody needed to be gnarly as fuck for such a long time. I think that, yeah, I think that just happened for so long. Like once like creative skaters started popping off, like mm. people just ventured towards that. And even like creative editing, like maybe the the, the tricks aren't yeah. that crazy, but it's like such a smooth little edit with a dope which is, song. Which is kind of controversial on skateboarding. It's kind of like mumble rap. Yes, with, <laughs> and it's like the old heads hate mumble rap. Like old skaters hate the. Yeah. Like new edits, but, eh. but the part about that that I don't get is it's like the the more chill style skating or whatever. That's what skating is actually like. Is like hanging out. Yeah, it's like know? it's not like I do that to be trendy. It's just like when we're filming, I'm most of the time we're just like hanging out and yeah. not trying to like bust the trick down like a nine stair. Right, you know, I'm gonna do some funny flat ground shit. You go like backside tail slide like a twenty stair. It's like yeah, it's sick as fuck, but it's also not at all what skating is like on a daily basis. Like the yeah. kickflip in the parking lot is a lot closer to something that the average kid might do, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I never really I feel like that's a weird mentality. The the idea that everything needs to be deadly in order for it to be good. Yeah. Gnarly skating sick though too. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Gnarly skating is great. But it's not for everybody. It's not shit. <laughs> So what have you been listening to uh, lately? Oh, man. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> uh, I pretty much just bump Oh, Wow on repeat. Uh, my recent single, Go Stream That. No, I'm kidding. Um, I support uh, that. I, I played the Lil Baby Gunner album. That was Same. good. Um, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually scroll through the SoundCloud playlist. Because you do have a, a, a special, like, fun dance playlist, I remember. You were driving around with me, and you put on your playlist, and it was just, like, all these different styles of music, but they were all very, like, energetic. Oh, yeah. I think I had, like, a, like songs to use in videos playlist. I don't know <laughs> if I update that anymore. That's funny. Remember when we went roller skating together? Oh, shit, yeah. Isn't that weird that that happened? Yeah, that was mad random. And we Lena were... just rented it out for, like, a photo shoot. Yeah. So we put a little clip of that video muted, though, so we don't get... Yeah, yeah, Copyright. definitely. But that was yeah, that's for the people out there. Where, where even is the? Oh, they can't uh, see the see screen it, okay, right now. Is... I mean, that's the camera. Yeah. So if you look yeah, right no, there, I'm just then looking you're looking at the there. at the screen. Oh yeah, the screen is up there. Scree! But you can't, you can't see. I haven't hit a, that's how I should have started the interview off. Scree! What is that? That's like my signature ad lib. Oh okay. Where'd that come from? I honestly, we were talking about this uh, like a few days ago. I don't even remember. I think I was like. Was it playlist? No, we were in the golf cart. Oh, Loki, it might have been. When was that? I got my bro. Okay. And over here. What? Okay. Yeah, like spring. I think I just came up with that. Right. I like it. So, yeah, it's, it's funny. Noises are big. Ad libs, like people call it ad libs, but really it's just like an excuse to make a funny noise. Diablo says uh, you're from Ecuador, so you're Ecuadorian. <laughs> you know why he's saying that? No, because no in, in his his interview he was all nervous and stuff, and he's like, "I'm from uh, Ecuador, so I'm Ecuadorian." <laughs> Just like, yeah, we know, we, yeah, that makes sense. From America, so I'm American. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, do you have me to rest? You. No, it's good, man. <laughs> it's all up. Super good. I was just hanging out with my five-year-old nephew, and he's got his nails painted. Like he kept going, "My nails are pumpkin orange." Uh, yeah, you did. Got the pink and green. It's all just branding, man. You, these you, are these are samples too for uh, nail polish that we're coming out with. You're really doing that? Yeah, we're really trying to like build build the brand up, like, yeah. Can you just sell like, those actual sunglasses, or do you? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so these uh, are available on uh, prettygang.com. How much are they? Uh, Sam, how much are the glasses? Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Sounds fair to me. How much you buy them from from the store? Twenty four. Uh, we don't. <laughs> we like make them. You make them? Yeah. Really? That's sick. From scratch in your backyard. Yep. Who uh, who do you actually find yourself like hanging out with and stuff in terms of like other Instagram personality and stuff? Like I I seen you hang out with Patty a lot when we first started kicking it, and Savage Realm. Shout out to his fat ass. Oh yeah, uh, Savage Realm's still the boy. He's living in Miami though. Oh, he moved back. So, yeah, he's okay. like never in LA, but um, when he is, we always link. Uh, man, I don't know. I don't necessarily like hang out with like. Like, go out and, like, hang out with, like, Instagram people all the time. Um, I hang out with my bro, uh, bro Aaron. Shit. I got my bro. Can we? Oh, we can't flip the cam. It's on tripod, but. No. Yeah. Got the homies over here. Uh, shit. I don't know. Just whoever. Um, a lot of my skate friends, like, was going skate. Uh, Garrett Jenner. I'll skate with him. Nyjah. 
Niger? Uh, yeah, we like skated a few times. Went really? to his park. It's pretty sick. Wow, how was that? It's cool. Is it? Yeah, like, he's got like a crazy park. Is it overwhelming? Like seeing how good he is in real life? Yeah, he's so crazy. Yeah, that's tight. We were trying to do a, like get a doubles clip, and like he, I think he landed every try, and it was pretty much we were just like waiting for me to land it. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, he's fire. Shout out to Nigel. I guess it makes Scurry. sense. <laughs> Scurry. I don't think I can say that. You gotta roll the R. Scurry. Oh, I, I can't roll my R, and I can't like make uh, yeah. any high pitch noises. It sounds less cool if you don't roll. It's a scree. I don't know. Like my voice doesn't make. It doesn't work when I try to do like really high pitch noises or like sing along to like a song that's like high pitch. It don't work. Damn. I don't know what happened with my vocal cords. They got fried at some point. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Um. On the podcast. What about the Kendama? Is that an actual collab? Is it out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Sweets Kendama. Um, the like, Pretty Gang Time Sweets uh, Kendama. Yeah, that's been on the on the webpage. Those are still available, right? Yeah. That's pretty epic. It, yeah. It's pretty epic to have all these like signature products. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to just do like hella random shit, you know, and kind of think outside the box and whatever. You guys, you have a collab now. You make your own. Right? We make our own now. Yeah. We were going to do a collab, but then we we're like, man, fuck this. We ain't getting no damn man. royalty. Let's make the full thing ourselves. I feel that. I feel yeah. that. Hold on. Let me do a trick. Capitalism, okay. man. See if I can do something for the No for Jumper the Kendama. It just looks like it has been chewed by a dog. That's the store, the store copy. Am I still in the... Yeah, you can't really see your head, but that's all right. Kendama, yeah. Boom. See, you have such a unique style because you learned how to do this in a bubble. Oh, shit. Like, I learned how to do it from other people who already, like, knew the right way to do stuff. Oh, yeah. And then you you just, like, learned it on your own, so you do it different, but it's still pretty tight. <sighs> Sassy. Oh, you're going to you're gonna reverse it? Oh, just like that. A little J-stick. A little J-stick. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing but a J-stick. The Kendama people, like... To them, a, a celebrity or whatever doing anything with the Kendama is a really big deal. Like, there's an old clip of Wiz Khalifa doing like a like just doing big cut. And yeah, like I all... noticed I posted like a Kendama video on Instagram. Like, there's hell people like yes. Yeah. Like they freak out. They love like, it. And then people in the Kendama community. We had Dennis Rodman doing it. We it's had... like it's still an underground thing, yeah. kind of like. But we're bringing it up. Yeah. That's what's funny is like, that... Like, there's people that, like, hello people, you know, you hold, like, the contest, right? I've posted it so much that everybody's always, like, just like, oh, that's that no jumper thing. That must be pretty oh. annoying to the hardcore Kendama oh, crowd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit, I didn't even think about that. We had X doing it. You ever see that clip? X doing Big Cup, and then he just looks around, like, to see if anybody saw him do it. I don't know if I've seen that. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy because that's sort of like a metaphor. That's for all her. my friends are who have never seen one. They get it on the cup. And they're like, yes, you guys see that? Yeah. That's our standard for being the pro team for No Jumper Kendama available at nojumper.com is that you just have to spike it one time. And I could teach anybody to spike it in like 30 seconds. Yeah. You just spin it and then they can yep. spike it and then they get so That's hyped. how I learned. I didn't even want to have Dennis no, Rodman totally do the spike. I totally know what you're talking about. I have like hello Kendamas at my house. Yeah. And I also have my friends. Like, I'll show them that. There's an old really vlog, old vlog we did where like we teach some kid's mom to do it back here, and she fucking screams. She freaks out so bad. It was one of the best moments. I forget which one it was though. It was fucking beautiful. Yeah, oh, kendamas for the moms. I can't believe I've been doing that shit for almost two years. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I've been messing around with kendama for probably like a year now. I don't like do it consistently like you though. That's why I still know the same like. I drill. Couple moves. I drill. I'll just get in the zone you and just hard. work on something for like two hours. It's embarrassing. When I say I'm listening to Joe Rogan for three hours, that's realistically what I'm probably doing is I'm listening to Joe Rogan while I try a condemn trick. What else we got to talk about? That's a good question. Um, let's see. We touched on, I feel like we could, I'd like the way I told, like how I like came up making videos was kind of a little scattered. Um, could touch up on some of that stuff. Shit. You know what the question is? It's just, what is your advice to people who want to like do oh, yeah, something can, similar to what you've done and everything because you really like made your name for yourself in such an unconventional way where it's not like you had somebody come down from the skies and just be like roy here's an opportunity you definitely oh, yeah. just, you made it for yourself totally you know? if there's anyone who thinks i like made it off a shout out or made it off like yeah anything like that nah um it was just off the videos and stuff um any advice shit i would say this is what I usually tell people, uh, and this is what I did, is like, 
look like find people who are like you're inspired by and like look at like how they built their brand um and you know like study that um and then also like study so not only like study like people who have done what you want to do uh, but like study like the industry of like whatever it is you want to get into you know um and like know what's what's trending and like you know so you can maybe make use of that to build your own career no that's super real like you have to like be able to find somebody like people always say like oh adam's like a fucking new school joe rogan or adam's like a soundcloud joe rogan or whatever but that's reality is i was looking at joe rogan i was like dude i could do that but like about something else and it's like kids yeah. like there's and always I'm not people saying you can copy i'm not after. saying like find you know someone's career path and like totally try and copy it but like just so you like know in your head like how you know how something like how a brand can be built you know and then use that to your advantage yeah it's really all about just like it's all about knowledge you know it's like you need to know stuff that other people don't know yeah, so it's like just a, having the vision maybe like taking a sec to think about what the what the end goal is or like all the things you're trying to do and like actually take a sec to think like how do i actually do this like i feel like a lot of people just want to do things but they don't even take a sec to like think about how to actually do it you know like Learn, they'll just learning like, about the whole industry or the whole world like all the things involved in it you can't just like you can, a lot of people just want the fame part you yeah know? exactly I, was, I see so much of that mm. especially since moving to la like people who like don't even like making videos make it for the clout and whatever right um and or don't shit, like what they do whatever it is they do you can see um, through that shit i feel like i see rappers sometimes shit. making That's like some people, corny you know, gimmick like, videos and i'm like bro this does not feel like you yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, I'm doing like other advice and stuff. Um, Learn the world. You know, like uh, I, this is what I was gonna say. Uh, like if you're trying to be this cliche because everybody wants to be a rapper, but if you're trying to be a rapper, don't just like drop a few songs on SoundCloud and if they don't blow up, call it a day. Like, like I said, I was dropping songs on SoundCloud in high school and I don't think I had a song get more than like 10k plays or like 20k plays until shit like college you know like middle of college there's kids of watching this are like i would kill for 10k plays well like over time <laughs> like over like i dropped it like junior year by like the time i was in college it probably had 10k plays you know mm. you um <clears throat> you went on tour a couple months ago right oh yeah uh in the spring i did a tour with uh young gravy yeah how was that experience it was super fun how um, long never been on a tour before so it was like a week or like 10 days mm -hmm. yeah uh the tour itself was like a month but i just did the first first little bit of it what was uh that overall experience like it was awesome it really i feel like that really helped uh like kind of get in my performing pocket um not that you know i've been performing with the band so i like had been on stages before but mm -hmm. i hadn't done like a tour like with my like rap music or whatever i had never done that before so that was super cool um just like doing a show every day for 10 days straight like it's a totally different lifestyle than when i'm like out here in la chilling and skating yeah staying in a different hotel every night or like yeah we were uh, in the van and or... we were on uh we had like a tour bus oh that's tight yeah so See, that's cool. Cool. Never just, done like that. everyone on the tour like even like behind the scenes dude like camera dudes we're all like super chill and it was just, like vibes young gravy though that's you, you felt like it was like it's a similar vibes. demographic oh yeah yeah our fans meshed really well that's tough. Um, yeah, it was fun. <coughs> Good times. Facts. Shout out to Gravy. Shout also, out shout out to, to Callion Fox. He was on that tour as well. I've, I've never spoken to Young Gravy. You should. He's really funny. Yeah. yeah he's a good guy. Seems interesting. I Have you heard any of his stuff? Yeah. Okay. I've yeah. heard everyone's stuff. Or at least, oh, yeah. e even so, if I sure. haven't, I just say I have, so... I mean, I have. Truth is, I don't really remember it that well. No, you probably have. So you've, you probably have heard, like, so much stuff. Are you always searching... Really new music? I mean, it's a combination of all the stuff I listen to on stream, plus all the stuff that I just watch because I see it pop up on Worldstar, plus the stuff that Atlantic sends me to check out, plus I got all these different A&Rs and managers, people that I know and everything that are always trying to get me to check shit out. There's just a million different ways that I'm having shit shoved down my throat. I know yeah. I've heard his on stream and stuff. There's like, that's like what you do is like the music stuff, so. Yeah. Like, that's a wild yeah. thing. Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't really keep up too much with. I try to, I, I do, but I try not to. Like you, I know it's like your job to kind of keep up with that stuff. I kind of try. 
like not to didn't you be almost... super in tune with what's like popping you know because i don't want to like influence my style well that's a good point you don't which is something yeah. i realized recently i was like <clears throat> i was like i don't need to be keeping up with everything that's like popping i can listen to jazz music all week if i want to not that i do that but yeah that's interesting though because don't you feel like if you edited your videos to jazz that everybody would hate them no, Besides I think I've done jazz a video fans. to jazz music. Oh, really? Before, yeah, it was funny as fuck. No, it's yeah. Like me dancing. Your stuff is all about energy. That <laughs> but, is true. No, true. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Uh, I make dance videos to whatever songs. Uh, I may, I mainly do listen to, like, I'll listen to a bunch of, like, the trending, like, you know, songs rap caviar? and stuff. Yeah, and, like, all that stuff. Uh, I just realized I never pulled out uh, my phone to look at my SoundCloud. Didn't you almost go on tour with Kodak? Oh, yeah, you wanted me to, like... This is when I was like first coming up. Uh, he wanted me to, like, just be his hype man on stage. Um, but I was like, I, I was just like, nah. Just go on a whole tour. I didn't want to like go. That was like so much time, just like dance on stage. This would have been a great experience, I'm sure. Right. Uh, but I just like had just moved to LA, I think, and I like wasn't. I was like trying to stay here. Hmm. Kodak, that was a wild experience. Probably being on yeah, tour with him. He's back out doing his thing. He has he's that back one out song, wilding. Easy. Yeah. That beat goes crazy. You see that video of him running around outside in front of the club, screaming and shit? Oh, no. Oh, that's a, oh, that's shit. a good one. I know. I've seen uh, I've seen the video where he's like, hey, I'm a suburban. Really? I'm a suburban kid. Oh. Well, I live in the suburbs. <laughs> I did see that, too. No, 6 no, 9 put out a video me. yesterday pretending to be him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to talk like him and shit, and then he deleted it right away. That was weird. Oh, I don't know. You know. What about Shiggy? I feel like Shiggy is a big dude who's come up in the dance game this year. Oh yeah, he uh, he killed it with the with the Drake thing. Actually, that dance is like kind of Kiki Challenge. That was one of the big dances of the year too, really. Yeah, yeah, I posted one of those. Really? Yeah. Uh, was that was that called the Kiki Challenge? I'm no. trying to learn the whoa, not learn it, but do it. I guess maybe I need to keep these glasses. Oh yeah, go for it. It might give me the power I need. Yeah, learn the learn the the whoa. You got it, dude. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna send it to 10k, and he's gonna he's gonna make something out yeah, of it. You're gonna, you're gonna blow up, man. <laughs> Yeah, but let's see. I got uh oh the music stuff. Speaking yeah. of the wall, I got I got this one. Hold up, this is a this is a good wall song. This is case supreme. Flexion. Flexion. I smell good. Gucci cologne. I don't. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I smell good. Gucci. I don't even know the rest of this. That's the just case just like fired uh, to like woe to. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but let's see. I got some Anderson Pack. I think it's Pac. Pack. Anderson Pack. I honestly don't know. Playlist. Um, ZZ is on top of the playlist. Uh, Lil Tracy, Lil Baby. Which Lil Tracy song? The new one, 10K? Uh, it's this random one with Lil Raven, a love song. Oh, okay. Um, shit, Jack Harlow. I know him. Yeah, he's so far. He's talented as shit. Uh, some Wayne from the new Wayne album. Uh, new Sheck West album on here. So I said, I, I, said I don't keep. I said I don't keep up with stuff, but I, I do obviously from this. But well, yeah, but I, I was mean, saying like sometimes I'll like notice that I am and like try to like add non trending songs. I mean, and people stuff probably be happy if you put out a video dancing to Smashing Pumpkins, they'd be hyped. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like you don't always have to be, have the hot new song. That's not really necessarily your brand. Your song, your your brand is like. Uh, and I mean, I'm just talking about like you know. stuff I like listen to in the car, not so like dance to or whatever. Right. I got my boy Savage Rounds, new song Blindside Two in this bitch. What, uh, whatever happened to aggressive masturbation? That was the song. Man, yeah. That should have been number one. Uh, it's number one in my book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On the Billboard charts too, though. All right, so what do you got planned for the rest of the year? Yeah, um, the year's almost over, isn't it? It's like a few months or something. Oh yeah, that's a good year, point. We got like a like, month and a half. The next like. Full like year. Um, no, two see. and a half actually, right? Yeah. Probably just November and December. Just uh, well, eventually I'll uh, be going back to like touring. Uh, eventually, the goal is to do like a headlining tour at some point in 2019. Um, but right now I just don't have enough songs out to headline my own tour, so that's kind of being postponed until I drop more stuff, which I'm super excited to do. Uh, film more music videos for those drops. Really expand the merch. Uh, we're trying to get in like all the zoomies and really expand on that. Drop more stuff on prettygang.com on our merch site. Keep posting scape videos. Do like the posting every uh, vlog type video every Friday to YouTube. 
uh, keep up with the funny dance things. Like, really just keep doing what I'm doing, but also grow it, like, a lot bigger at the same time. It's all about that growth. Yeah. And shout out Zoomies. Go to your local Zoomies and tell them you need Roy Purdy and on some shit on the shelves. And not, and not just on the shelves. In every shelf. On every, every shelf. Every Zoomies. I would like to see Zoomies clear out all their existing merchandise and just bring in Roy Purdy and on some shit, and that's it. Yeah. No, I think they'd do really well if they did that. It's good. Why don't they just let us run the business? <laughs> shit. Whoever the fuck God the CEO damn. is, get him out of here. Get Roy Purdy in there. <laughs> but uh, I'll be your VP. Shit. But yeah, no, just not uh, take over Zoomies, but <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, not just growth, though. Uh, also doing like just expanding on things, like doing other stuff, too. Like I don't even have a lot of music out right now. Um, so I feel like that kind of needs to, I feel like I need to show people, like, I don't know, more of like what I can do with music, you know? Definitely. We got to get you I, I feel like even you, you're going to be surprised with some of the stuff I'm dropping. Like, I'm ready, man. I got like some super hype stuff all the way to like Ed Sheeran sounding songs like that really? I've been recording. Um, like literally ev- like every genre, not every genre, but like just like hella different stuff. I want to hear an Ed Sheeran style song from you for sure. Yeah. Or just like, it's like some singing shit. I don't know if it's like really an Ed Sheeran type song, but yeah. Ed Sheeran is gang. Facts. That's Ed Sheeran's gang. Song. Gang, not gay. I felt like it sounded a little too close to gay. If I said Ed Sheeran's gay, that'd be libel. I'd have a lawsuit on my hands. I fuck with the drip, but this light is really hot, so. No, I feel that too. I can't believe that I'm actually I'm doing good here. I'm actually, the AC is blasting all over me, so I feel like a. <laughs> all right. Roy Purdy. <laughs> we do the ad lib again? Scree! Scree! Almost. Do you see how, how fucked up that sounded? Scree! <laughs> Oh, man. I can't roll my eyes. Oh, it's shit. not happening. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. And I can't snap my fingers with my other hand. Like, Scree. You can kind of do it without rolling That eye. works. This one's broken. Oh, you can't snap your fingers? I can do it with this side. Hey. But then this side is like... Shout out to all the headphone users out there. This is ASMR. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roy Birdie. Shit. Can we do the rest of the interview like this now? <laughs> I'm Roy Birdie. Welcome to No Jumper Cools Podcast in the you watch ASMR? We're here with Rogue Gang. Uh, Time's Party Gang. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I think they have a special mic. I've seen They're always in my Explore page. Though. That shit freaks Those, me out. Those, like, slime videos. Um, slime is big now? I don't, I don't know. There's always, like, weird shit in my Explore page. Br- just keep it simple and bring back the killer clowns. I miss right. that era. No. <laughs> that era of YouTube. Fuck <laughs> that. I never ran into one, thankfully. But no. That was a big thing. I had uh, Brennan Taylor on here, and he wouldn't admit that the... That it was fake. He was like keeping the the illusion alive. Oh, like when the clowns were like a thing. Yeah, because he got like 11 million views on a video pretending to get attacked by a killer clown. Oh shit. Yeah, but then he still wouldn't admit that it was fake. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Killer Roy, Killer Roy, coming to a city near you. I'm so proud yep. that I kept the glasses on the whole time. Yeah, I didn't think you were honestly. That's Honestly, my head hurts. It's like digging into the sides of my head. It's the headphones nah, on top you. of the sunglasses, and I have a huge head. Ah. All right. No jumper? Coolest podcast in the world here with Roy Purdy? Yeah. And just like that, follow my man oh, on Oh, wait. Was this the podcast? Was that the podcast just now? I thought we were just chatting. No, that was a podcast. Oh, yeah. uh, weird. Sick. No, okay. <laughs> Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Follow my ASMR channel. Scree. Link in description. Scree. Yeti. Bro, I'm back in the house. Cause I got no joy. I'm back in the house. Cause I got no joy. Bro, I'm back in the house. Cause I got no joy. I'm back in the house. Cause I got no joy. I'm back in the house. Cause I got no joy. It's cold.